What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to episode 22. That's 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 two elevens right there. <laughs> um, <yeah>. Damn. <laughs> of, the, of, the, of the TNEC cast, I'm your boy Shuff with the man, the weapon K. Um, you know, we back again. You know, we gotta say subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That number is slowly moving up, mm-hmm. but you know, we, we need to hit a thousand by the end of this year. I know we, I can't remember the top of my head what our other goal is, but we need to hit a thousand by the end of the year. You know, so please, you know, when you hear it, you know, you hearing something that you like, man, you know, share it. Tell a friend to tell a friend, because guess what? All that stuff is free. We ain't even ask you to buy nothing. Yo, fast. But, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, just uh, please subscribe. Okay, how you feeling? Man, I'm chilling. You know what? What did I say last week? I'm going to make a compilation compilation of just me saying, I'm chilling. Yeah. <laughs> Every <laughs> single episode. It's like, I'm chilling. You know me. Um, we're both in single digits of prep. So forgive us if we, we just start brain dumping shit afterwards. Yeah. You know, my bad. So uh, yeah, give us a rundown for this episode real quick. So we're going to, we're going to talk about how sometimes basically the best way to put it is we're going to talk about sometimes how you skip uh, um, rungs on the ladder of success, but you can't plan for it. Only thing you can plan for is to hit every rung. So we're going to talk about that. Then we're going to talk about some of the things that we have upcoming because we have a lot of stuff coming down the pipe. Anybody that um, you know knows me personally actually just posted about. While that's a team thing, that's also a me thing, all the different things that we have coming up. And that was just till October. And that was just on Saturdays. Mm. And it was just, it was just insane. So, you know, we told y'all, you know, we was we was coming in hot, moving ruthless. You know what I mean? So they, you know, we 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 coming, baby. We coming, whether you like it or not, yeah. you know. Um, so speaking of that real quick, you know, we have super show coming up. Um, we're going to work. I'm putting it out there because I actually will speak with uh, her tonight. We're going to work to get the promoter of Super Show to come on uh, next week leading into the show. The show is you know, now a little bit under three weeks out. Uh, right now, it's looking like um, the pro figure and the pro men's physique. They're going to be battling to see which one is the class of the show. Both are um, double digit deep with a um, few people making a um, uh, figure in um, men's physique de- and pro debuts. You know, a few people, you know, we got some veterans. You know, got some heavy hitters, you know, stuff like that. So it's gonna be it's gonna be wild. So hopefully we can, you know, get get her on to speak about it. And also my allergies are bothering me, so I apologize for the for the steady uh, for the steady stiffling. Uh, <laughs> I'll be all right. I'll be, I'll be all right, I'll be all right, I'll be all right. But um yeah, I, I guess we'll jump into the to the main topic of uh of the episode. Um so I texted uh Kyrie was it yesterday? Yeah, I think it was yeah, I think it was yesterday, mm-hmm. and I was like, hey. Cause what we do sometimes when we have ideas for the show, you know, we'll test each other and say, Hey, it's this, you know, and you know, we were talking about, you know, success and how to get there. And, you know, sometimes people want to skip steps. And usually when you try to skip steps, you end up failing and you end up falling. And sometimes you cannot recover from it. But now when you've prepared and you really, really working hard and you're climbing up that ladder and you're touching every single rung, Sometimes you're able to skip some steps because of circumstance. You know what I mean? And you have to be ready for that. That's why this whole thing about luck, 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 I don't believe in luck. And I'm not, and not because I'm doing from off a of Titanic. You know, at the end of the day, it's very simple. What some people call luck, I call preparation meets opportunity. Mm. And sometimes you have the ability to skip some lungs on, excuse me, uh, skip some rungs on that ladder because you're prepared you were you put yourself in a situation where you could do that but let me tell you something if you are not prepared to touch every single rung on that ladder you put yourself in a bad situation because that like so for example you want to you want to go from 200 pounds to 150 pounds bravo www.thenoskiscrew.com get a console (laughs) it's not free no more (laughs) <laughs> July 20th is not free after July 20th it's not free because y'all be no showing but anyway so so after you do that you know so now you gotta you want to get from one place to another you have to so think about this you have to be ready to lose a pound, pound per pound every time you get on the scale a pound per pound so what's going to happen sometimes you have a week where you lose five pounds you have a week where you lose no pounds you have to keep going so when you get to, if you want to get from one place to another, sometimes it's going to be faster than another, but you have to be ready and willing to take every single little step. 
if because I'm telling you, you are setting yourself up for failure because now you're not working correctly. You're working looking for the opportunity. You're not working yourself to be prepared for the opportunity. Opportunity is going to find you. Now, can you create your own opportunity? Yes, because I've done it several times. Kyrie's done it. You know, people on the team have done it. However, when you are working and you're just diligent about your task day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out, you have to be ready to touch every single rung on that ladder. I.e., for example, you're trying to get to, um, on, I'll, I'll say it on the natural side, you're trying to get to, to pro status. There are people that, you know, the way it is on the natural side, you may not have enough people in your class. So you want a show. You want three or four shows. You're better than some pros. But guess what? You're still technically not a pro yet because you haven't chose the right show or whatever or whatever happened. Are you going to stop? Because to me, that means you didn't want it as bad as you was telling everybody. You know, but then there's there's another person. Same physique, same everything. They go to the right show. There's five people. They win. They win their open class. Bam, they're a pro. And they there's two different, you know, situations there. It's not their fault that they were in a situation where they were able to skip some steps and get there. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So that's what you have. But that same person has to be willing to go to a bunch of different shows. You know, we'll go over to the MPC side. How many people will go to different shows to get that national qualification? And then they got some people on their first national show, some people on their 10th national show, and they could be pro ready, but they just keep running into the wrong things. Like, but you have to be willing to take those steps. It's not just going to always be boom, one there. You have to be willing to take those steps. So, okay, how, what what does that what does that mean to you? Actually, I'm about to throw you an alley oop real, real quick. So, I wrote down you have to be relentless, right? This is just nothing with you just being a relentless. So, talk about the No Excuse Crew back in what 2017. That's when it first started, right? That was wait, was it? Oh, so that post was from 20. So wait, yeah, 20, it was 2017. 2017. Yep, yep. Talk yep. about the struggles. And every single rung you had to touch just to get to where you are now. And this ain't even the top yet. Yeah. Talk about it. Yeah. So, you know, um, from from uh, from pressure from close people, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, make this thing real. Make this thing real. Because I've been training people for about two years, maybe. Mm-hmm. And it was it was it was it was a side hustle that started to grow out a bit, you know, out earn, you know, what I was doing, you know, in corporate America. So I went ahead, you know. Started TNEC Fitness LLC, so that was the first official move. You know, I had a couple of uh, a couple of few people. Not all of them are around. That invested a little bit of money, and when I say a little bit, it was a little bit. And you know, only a couple of them are about to get a really nice return on their investment because they see they see <laughs> what's yeah. going on. <laughs> so I mean, good for y'all. Um, but you no, know, but but in all seriousness, you know, a lot of the struggles. Um, you know, there were times, a lot of it was ideas that I thought were going to be great that weren't great. You know, like when we we, we released a T-shirt pre-order, I'm like, man, like 100 people are going to do this. 20, 25 people did. It wasn't no big, I mean, that's not bad, but I'm like, yeah, because I know all these people. And you get all these people, oh, da, da, da. you know, is what it is. Um, you know, Motivation Monday, thought that was going to be big. Wasn't big. I, I did that every week for 52 weeks. I kept bumping my head trying to get through, you know, and it didn't. Um, you know, with the formation of the competition team, had people on it that wasn't really serious, a lot of different, you know, things. Had to shut that down, rely on myself and a couple of real ones, restart. It will never stop, but shut shut some things down and restart it. I mean, and there's just a lot of adversity you know, through, through the whole thing. But I mean, when you're doing it for yourself, you don't stop, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Now this was, this was my chance to leave my mark. Something that we've talked about leaving a legacy. So I just kept pushing, I kept pushing, I kept pushing, you know? So, uh, you know, I even, I even talk about, so this time last year, this is, this is what's wild. This time last year, I, t- I did have a sponsor, but I don't count that one. No pros, because I let a lot of people go. So I had no pros. I wasn't a pro. This is right around the time you came around saying, what can yeah. I do? Yeah. So so there's a lot of there's a lot of different things going on. Darius and Sunshine were, you know, two or three weeks out from their first show. All these so a lot of different things. And now, so the competition team being like three or four people, 
Now it's over 30 people. You know what I'm saying? You don't see every, you, you, the world doesn't see everybody, but it's over 30 people. You know, we have double digit pros. We have Texas Cup winners. You know, we have pro winners. We have all people about to get their pro. We have so many different things going on. And then from just like a personal standpoint, I'm being requested to go to posing clinics. People are coming to me now. I haven't even been a pro a year. Mm. I haven't even been a pro a year. Look how many pros I've created in a short time. You see what I'm saying? So you have to believe in yourself and you got to just keep going no matter what. I never stopped. When people stopped believing in me, I didn't stop. When people, you know, wasn't really, wasn't really rocking what we was doing, I didn't stop. You know, when I was, you know, working with other uh, organizations and they did, they did things that I didn't agree with, I had to pull back and say, I can't do that. I always, I will always, you know, um, go back to my morals and standards over whatever uh, organization or whoever I'm with, because there's certain things that I'm just not about doing. Not my job to put people out there and say different things. But it came down to, you know, a lot of, a lot of times I wanted to quit, man. A lot of times I wanted to quit, you know, but I always tell people that lifestyle side, what built the business was to my lifestyle clients. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what, that's, that's what keeps, that's what keeps the, that's what keeps the lights on. That's what makes it so we can in, invest in these shows and sponsor shit and have some have some dope stuff. But man, like yo, so you know, so four years ago, right? I probably I still I think I was still consistently little. Oh wait, four years we, we, shit. When we when I first started, I was probably at that point a consistent fifty to sixty clients. Now, if you count uh, competition side, if you count if you count the challenges, it's almost three hundred people. So I'll put it like that. So that's growth. That's, that's, that's numbers, yeah. facts, over things and everything like that. You know, zero pros till I think like at 12 or something like that. that again, going off the top of my head. Um, you know, we just have a lot of different things, but it all came from just keep going and not, and not worrying about anything other than being relentless. Just keep going, keep posting, keep talking, keep showing and proving. When people tell you you can't do it anyway, you know, and you know, I'm that definition of it, man. And and now I say it now, I really got the people around me and you're, and you're saying it when you, if you're patient and you let the right people get around you and I'm not going to start shouting people out because I don't want to forget anybody. You get the right people around you. No limit, no fucking limit to what you can do. Cause I'm, I'm trying to tell you, y'all see, check us a year from now. Yep. Check us. Cause there's some things that we were working on. Yeah. You know, it's some stuff that me, just some shit that me and Kev talked about that we have going on. You see what I'm saying? Check us in a year. I'm telling you, we are, we're just getting, because I got the right people around me. Now I got people that I can say, go make this happen. And then the, thing, the best thing about those people, they'll ask me, what do I need else do I need to do? Help me make this happen. It's never just a take it, it's three weeks, and then we're like, what the hell is going on? You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, we've been done. We've been done wrong. Never sought revenge. It just all it does is like, okay, like I said, like I like I quote my boy Thanos. Because I don't care what anybody says, Thanos was right. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Yo, so check this out. I'm a, I'm gonna cut you off right here because you you were dropping too many gems. We gotta double back <laughs> a little bit, man. We gotta double back. So I need to drop this real quick. Everyone loves the relentless person, right? The relentless business. But don't forget you have to start. Mm, mm, you mm. can't be relentless if you never started. Me, me and Isaac talked. We had an a emergency uh, meeting. What was it, last week? I think it was two was weeks it ago. Two now. weeks ago? Two weeks ago. I asked him. I was like, hey, man, I want to be... I don't think I told you this, but I was having a conversation with my wife. And I was like, I want to be immortalized for the next 200 years. Uh, with my footprint and after 200 years just wash away on the beach I want to leave a 200 years impact after I die how can I do that and I was thinking I was rough and I was like yo Isaac you busy he was like no nah, what, you, what you need bro what you need I got you and we we jot down and it, I, I'm a flash real quick that entire page is what we talked about I don't don't pause it that's our ideas stand by <laughs> and we thought about all these great ideas, but we have to start. 
those ideas don't mean shit on this paper. Well, don't let your ideas, don't let that dream, don't let that passion start and end in your head. Mm. Mm. Say that again. Say that one more time. Don't Say that let more- that dream, that passion, that idea die in your head. For Super what? Nothing. For what? Just start. And this is, I'm preaching this to myself. Let's stand by for a second because I am legitimately terrified of recording in the gym. I am horrified and it's not even because you know like um i'm thinking i'm gonna get kicked out i just fear other people's judgment but i have to do it and it's a great idea i just have to start so be mindful of that all right next one the importance of a team so my favorite quote and that's why i finished it for you fine i will do it myself what that was off of uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. After yep. Ultron died, boom, see Thanos at the very end and credit scene, pick up the Infinity Gauntlet. Fine, I'll do it myself. The most badass scene I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> there was a two year period when I did not have the right people in my life. And I acknowledge that. And I had this bitterness in my heart, just like I legitimately played that scene in my head. All day, every day, fine. I'll just do it myself. I didn't have bodybuilding role models. I didn't have bodybuilding. I didn't know anyone in the bodybuilding world. I, I saw like Brandon Henderson, you know, Jeremy Brendia, Ronnie Coleman. He's like, okay, these are examples. But I didn't have the, the face-to-face contact like right now. So I, I was just bitter all the time, all the time. But now things are just so much easier. Because it ain't shit for me to hit up you. I can hit up KP. We can rely on each other now. Get a pep talk. Yo, I don't think this is it. Bro, shut up. You look good. Relax. (laughs) Relax. It's very important. This isn't just for bodybuilding. This is for anywhere you're trying to go. If this is, you want to be, you want to be, join like the oil field. Surround yourself. Join the conversation with them. Yo, pick their brains. See if that's actually something you want to go to. You know what I mean? And that's why you see a lot of college students thrive in college because they're surrounded by people in their major. Oh, that's a fucking great point. I yeah. They thrive and all of a sudden they get to, you know, the real world and they don't have anyone else, you know, to attach to, to kind of grow and continue to learn. Then that muscle, that learning muscle just dies. Just like anything else. You have to surround yourself with the right people of where you're trying to go. You have to. It's very important. So that that was my two cents real quick. I had another one on here. Uh, You have to pay the price. Oh, yeah. Your ladder might be different than my ladder. And it might be different for my wife's ladder. And so on and so forth. Everyone's path is different. So it might take me one national show to turn pro. It might take, you know, my client three shows to turn pro. But you have to pay the price. And you have to accept the fact that not everyone's price is the exact same. Everyone's going to pay a different price. You might show, you might pay a million dollars and another person might show up with five bands. And winning, but like, hey, come here. I want the five bands guy. What? You just see the blood, sweat, and tears? I know you got something to say. Well, no, because it's something I posted. And, of course, shout out, pro reader who's mad at me right now. But that, that's <laughs> but um, I shared it. She's one of the people that, that caught it and actually watched it. And I don't know if you saw it. It was that, that Sports Center thing. They had shared it about that coach talking about winning. He's like, winning's yep. not fair. Winning doesn't care how hard you work. Mm-hmm. Win, like, like all these things that winning doesn't care about. And it goes right into what you're saying everybody's price is different. You know, it makes me laugh. Think about the million dollar man. Everybody got a price. We don't know what, but you, are you, are you still willing to work? You want it that bad that you still willing to work. You don't know how much you got to pay. You just got to work. You got to work until you get it. You know what I mean? So some, like, again, some person, you know, it's like that person never played a scratch off and all of a sudden they release a billion dollars scratch. They never played it in their life. Yep. One and done. And there's somebody that plays scratch offs. They've, waste a lot of money but play scratch offs for 25 years and the most they've ever won is ten dollars yeah 
And winning ain't fair, baby. Because win, win, winning don't care. Winning don't care. But to have that desire to get there. And it's not even like you arrive and you stay there. You, Fun fact. You remember after the Texas Cup? You know, you know, I did the interview, whatever, and I came back to see you guys. There was no smile on my face no more. <laughs> the moment is over. Like legitimately, this is how I pictured it. As soon as I took my little my little picture with my trophy, the bikini girls were starting to line up. My moment is over. But that 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 small amount of time is worth it for me to go back again and again and again you know what that is what's that it's a high that's yeah. the, that's what it is that it's like like that moment because think about it just it, it, i mean this is a direct correlation with drugs if we're just being very freaking honest mm-hmm. most drugs the high only lasts x amount of time usually the most intense high you have is the first one so you spend so basically what your mind is doing is sp- that's what addiction is your, your mind is spending all that time trying to trying to replicate the feeling of the first time. Mm-hmm. So now with winning, especially in our sport, the moment isn't long. You know yeah. what I mean? You're, on, you're not <laughs> on stage very long. Get your win, get your picture. Okay, next. That's really what it is. Yeah, it lives a little bit forever on social media, but it's like that, like the actual feeling in the moment. You know, we don't get no big parade. We don't get no, you know, big interview with ESPN and all that other stuff. It's you win. Okay, next next category. You know what I'm saying? So now you know how that feels because the on, the on stage and then winning those two things, thankfully, both of us have experienced. I mean, there's really nothing like it. And I played a lot of sports at a high level. So it's like, there's really nothing like it. So now like I'm seeking that first pro win. Like I'm like, I feel like an addict. I feel like a fiend. Like, I was like, I need that shit. I need, cause it's cool to be up there and see people that you, that you rock with have their moment. And it's never against them, but it's like, Fuck you! I want that moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, they feel the same way because because those are the same ones that just like I'll be waiting there, give them a hug, say hey, congratulations, because we battled it out. Those same ones. If, if the roles was, was reversed, they feel the same way. They still shake my hand, dap it up, but they like damn. So now what they doing is I got to work harder. I got to do whatever I got to do. You know what I'm saying? But that's what that is. It's that high and like, are you disciplined enough? Do you really want it? Because like you know, it, again, it just reappeared. No crackhead wakes up and says, oh, I'm not going to smoke crack today. Ain't nothing going to stop them. They're going to figure it out. They gonna, you you going to let a crackhead out hustle you. They're going to figure that shit out. Oh. get high. Now, what's even worse for us, we just want X amount of stages we can get on. Yep. Just want X amount of... So, if you miss out... So, it's like that crack, so think about how the crackhead is. There's an opportunity to get that $5 so they can now they got enough to go get that their, their next fix. But somebody beat them to it fuck, now I got to work harder. When's my next opportunity? So I got one one more thing. And I feel like this is for the students out there because college is hard. You know, I take a few college courses right now and it's it's tough, right? But the same, the same, the same principle of us cr- crossing that stage, taking our picture and going off is the same way you get in your degree. Mm-hmm. As soon as it's there, they call your name, Curry Cooper. And all of a sudden, you know, it's Daniel Cooper next. Yep. And it just goes on. Your moment was shook hands, grabbed your degree. But what did you feel in that moment? And you're like, y'all want some more. And it has nothing to do with getting a trophy. This has nothing to do with winning a championship ring, having a parade. It could be raising a good kid. Could be like shit. It could be getting out of bed, taking a shower. We gotta start where we are. And that's exactly what I said before. Everyone's ladder is different. You can't look at some you can't look at Patrick Mahomes, but he won a Super Bowl. Why am I a piece of shit? Because I can't get out of bed. No. Get your daily wins are everywhere. Us doing this podcast right now is a win because it's nothing but just a discipline of every Monday at the same time, around the same time. And we have to go to business. Hey, locked in. Let's go. Go to the gym. Same, same. 
Homework is study time. Same, same. That's your win. My discipline, discipline. It's, it, that's it. You just have to change that dialogue. Like, I have to fill in the blank here. And be like, yo, I just want to chase this win. Be mindful of that. Be very mindful, man. This, man, look, man, a lot of people need to hear what we're talking about right now. A lot of people need to hear this because you talk about, because college is a great example. Four years, some people six years, whatever kind of college you're going mm -hmm. to. And your first, you, now that can lead up to several moments, but your first moment is that completion. I'm done. Hey, and then you move on. You worked four to six to eight years for maybe 10 seconds of recognition. Now, granted, you get a job, all that stuff. It's the same thing with us. So the first step is getting on stage. You worked 16 weeks, sometimes a year, depending on everybody's situation different, to get on that stage. Okay, there goes the win number one. Now you get the taste. You might have done well and won your pro card that first show. It's happened. You know what? Did I point to you? I don't know if I yeah, you pointed to me. Right. <laughs> <All right. laughs> but you know, so now you got the taste. So say you didn't. So now you got to work until you get it. How you don't know, but you don't know how long it's going to take you. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be the next show that you had the next week? Is it going to be next year? Is it going to be two? You don't know because again, to go back, it all connects. Winning don't give a shit. Winning don't care how hard you worked. The winner is the winner. Who scored more points? Who, in our case, who accumulated more judges points, you know, or less, however you want to look at it. Who did better? You know what I'm saying? And are you willing to be disciplined enough to stay on your horse, to stay on your ladder, not look at Kyrie's ladder, not look at Isaac's ladder, and you just keep staying on your ladder? Because here's the thing, right? You may be looking at Kyrie's ladder, right? You may be looking at my ladder, whoever's ladder. Damn, they so far ahead of me. They so like they're our ladders may only end here. If you keep climbing, yeah. you, you don't know, but you but if you spend so much time worrying about us, you won't be knocked off your path. Mm. You know what I mean? Just because somebody somebody would appears to you skipped a few steps. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, you don't know how hard they work to even just get on the fucking ladder. So there's that part of it too. Yep. But just because somebody's ladder there's they, each rung is a is a is a different representation. You got to remember when they're at the top of their ladder, i.e., when they're, when they're when they passed away and what their legacy is. You could blow, blow past it. You don't even know it, but you limiting yourself by not even getting on the ladder. Or you get on the ladder, climb a few rungs. Oh, this is too hard. You know, you just got your foot off the ground because you got to remember this is the thing about that ladder. As you climb and once you get your foot off the ground, that's the start. So you get your you grab it, you know, boom, get your foot on the on the rung. Grab another one, get your foot. Now you off the ground. Now you can fall and bump your head. Now, are you willing to climb as high as you can, knowing that at any point in time you can fall down? Any point in time. You know how many times I fell off my motherfucking ladder? And guess what? I did dust myself up and got right the hell back up and got further every single time. And I thank, thank you by the grace of God. I have not fallen off that ladder in a while, baby. Mm -hmm. We climbing, climbing, climbing. Now, guess what I'm doing? Come on, motherfucker. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, multiple people, multiple people. Because let me tell you something: you, if you get, if you start seeing yourself having success and you not bringing people along with you, you a piece of shit. I'm telling you that right. <laughs> Yo, I can't. You know what? I can't even hate on that, man. That, that's like, facts. You like you can't be doing that, man. I can't. Mm -hmm. I see people that do that, and then they wonder why they get to a certain point. They got to get all new friends, or they got to change up everything because they they wasn't helping nobody or. You, you see, like, stories of long-term success aren't as common as we think. Like, when you really, really think about it, stories of true long-term success mm. in rap, there are not a lot of Jay-Zs. Because if you think about it, even Diddy, Diddy's success lately ain't been in music, mm -hmm. if you really think about it. Jay-Z, at the end of the day, now, while he's an extremely, extremely successful businessman, him and Beyonce really what keeps them relevant what keeps that money train going is music you know she's been doing it 20 plus years he's been doing it 20 plus years not many people have been able to stay at that level for long-term success for every lebron james tom brady r.i.p kobe that played at a high level for 15 16 17 plus years there's somebody there's like a jeremy lynn had an 18 game run 
Mm-hmm. You know, there's a Brandon Roy. Two, I mean, th- unfortunately for him, it was injuries. But you know, two years, one of the best players. Yeah. You know, Penny. Everybody thought Penny was going to be one of the best players ever. Injuries. Look, you don't know. You don't freaking know. So if you're not putting other people in position, so imagine, you know, I can't do this no more. But I got Kyrie in position. I just whatever happens, he takes the mantle and he pull. He's the one pulling me up now. That's that's what it's about. It's that reciprocity. Because everybody remembers who helped him. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people that that I've invested in their businesses just on the strength of like three years ago they brought it. They bought a shirt. Three years ago they bought a band, and that that was an investment. I put 500 into their business or more. I'm not going to share a lot of stuff that I do because because that's not why I do it. I don't sit there and broadcast. But you you invested in me. I like, I got you. I have now. I have the juice. So now I'm going to do this stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're not doing that, I'm telling you right now, and you're sitting there, oh, why nobody like me? Because you're a piece of shit. I'm telling you that. I'm just, I, you, you may not like it. Y'all don't may not like the shit that I say, but I ain't, I ain't telling you a lie. I ain't telling you a lie. So one you, thing that I, I noticed, we talk a lot about winning. We talk a lot about winning because it's very important. But as you were talking, I was thinking about the importance of tasting the shittiest meal you have ever ate in your life. And that's a losing. The shittiest meal you have ever eaten in your life. Okay, to each your own. They're, you know, other people lose. They're like, hey, you know, it's just a game. This is just a hobby. But if you truly take pride in what you do, whatever endeavor that is, and you taste it, That ruins days, months, weeks. That is, it's just like climbing a ladder and one of them breaks. You went up two, come back one. Congratulations, you played yourself. What happens? What happens? So I'm gonna answer that question. I'm gonna give you a good example. So, you know, a lot of these shows I'm wearing two hats, athlete and coach, Margaritaville. Mm. I had my best package, you know, to date, sitting there thinking the way everything was going between me and my boy. I call him, I call him Natty McCaddy, seeing which if it was between us two. You know what I mean? He's a little bigger than me. So I was like, okay, do they prize it? You know what I mean? I'm sitting there, they call out the top five and your boy ain't in there. First time as a pro, I'm like, you know, and that hurt, 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 hurt. still hurts me. But then I had to turn around, be coach. Cause somebody else on the team, I had to forget about that. So when you say what happens, you gotta be able to, cause I, you can't let your shitty feeling ruin what's going on for the team. Cause then we had a nice big victory for the team right after that. You know what I'm saying? So and now, cause now it, 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 it's funny, you, you, you know, you don't try to like say, you know, it's karma, but imagine if I would have been a, a poor sport, would have been shaking everybody's hands. It would have been on, you know, and acting like a little bitch about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like nah. You know, I, I took it, helped, kept my head high. You know, I wanted, I wanted to cry. I was pissed. Yo, I was hurt. Yeah. But you got to pick it up, and then you know, it's, that's what I'm saying when you talk about what happens, and this is why again we can use real world examples. Because it's yo, I'm telling you, especially when you're used to performing at a high level, and you get that little taste, taste of that humble pie. Mm-hmm. Whether you deserve it or not, whether you earn it or not, you got to eat that bad boy. Mm-hmm. And then you got to be ready to, you got to ready to be happy for somebody else. You got to be ready to put on, you got to be ready to do what you're supposed to do. It's not, and it's not easy. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's not easy. So one thing, this is how I live my life. I want to, I want to coin Andrew Layson on this one. He, uh, he was my homeboy back in Japan. And, uh, he always said, shoot, move, communicate. So if you were any related to like the military, any term or um, law enforcement, shoot, move, communicate. This is basically like uh, clearing out a building. And wise, wise 27 year old love tequila. And he was like, yo, you have to treat life like you're clearing out a building. Right. And whenever you enter the building, you hear shots. You hear you hear shots going off. You go direct the threat. No matter what, you go direct to where the bullets are coming from and you handle the situation. No matter what happens, you handle that fucking situation. If that door is locked, you better kick down the door, 
find a window, bust down the entire wall, but you're getting inside that fucking room. If I die in the process, no matter what, you keep pressing on because you have to handle that situation. All that emotion ends as soon as you enter that. You put you put a round in the chamber and it's time. It's go time. Everything else doesn't matter. Your homie dies, sucks. Finish the job. Finish the job. My dad always says, finish the drill. What up, Pop? What up? You have to t- I take the same thing. So I actually try to launch a, a company, Shoot, Move, Communicate. Terrible idea because only cops know that shit, right? <laughs> it's just like <laughs> SMC, right? But I still wear that to this day. No matter what is happening around me, I have to handle the threat. You have to handle the threat and you have to make shit happen. That's it. Make shit happen. Communicate with your team. Yo, I'm yo, I need you to have my back this season, bro. I need you. Yo, my knees, my knees are killing me, man. I need you to have my back. Communicate to the next team coming in. Yo, this is what happened. You know, your after actions report. This is what happened. This is what we encountered. The weapons of the enemies are using. You know, how many are there? And most important, shoot. Don't be scared. This is your job. This is this is what you are born to do. Like you signed up for this, whether it's a, a a job, a corporate America job, being a mom, being a dad, it an actual military. You see what I'm saying? You signed up for it. You wake up, you put your pants on. Don't bitch about it. You better load that motherfucker up and start spraying. And whatever happens, happens. You keep pressing on. You got anything else to close this shit out? <laughs> I mean, look, man. Whoever whoever stuck around after the first, you know, what ten ten minutes or whatever, you you got some gold, baby. You you got some. <laughs> you know and now, and look, man. At the end of the day, like I get a lot of people, you know, when I do the lives and different things, stuff that we say on here. Put it into practice. Start Somebody telling us how good it is. Put it into practice. You want to uh, uh, say thank you to us for a good. Put it into practice. And don't tell me how you did today with it. I want to hear about how three months from now, how, how it helped you. Because you put it into practice every single freaking day. So that's what it is, man. Stop worrying about, we've talked about it before. I'm going to say it again because it's important. Think about how many great days you have to put together just to get the okay. Mm. Just to get to, to level. Just to break even, dog. We're not even talking about, to, we're not even talking about good. We are just the okay how many great days you have to put together. That's, that's it for me. Well, I appreciate subscribe. you guys. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Put your well, if you guys want to put your notifications on, we, we do this thing every single week, every Tuesday, seven o'clock Eastern. Go ahead and chime in. We should probably do this live one week. You know, we I'm should here probably for it. do it live. We can do it on Facebook you know Live, record it, put the vod on. You know what? I might write that down. But I appreciate you guys for watching, staying in. Um, if you did get something that uh, you seem uh, gave you value, use it, use it, use it. We give out free tools, free ninety nine. If it doesn't work, throw it away, and find your own blueprint. You know. Um, also, refer refer us to a friend. If you got something that worked, you know, pass us on. Hey, man, I think this will help you. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Take it easy.